December of 2019 is going to be a fateful time for Netflix, with Disney Plus having gone live in the middle of November. Here are a few titles jumping to Disney in December, plus a few more leaving Netflix not owned by the House of Mouse. If you haven't seen this particular Marvel Cinematic Universe offering yet, now's as good a time as any. The third installment of the Thor series is one of the higher-rated and more widely acclaimed installments in the entire MCU. Even those who typically don't get into superhero films tend to make an exception for this one, with its expert blend of action, heart, and humor. Want to use a big wooden fork? No. Yeah, not really useful unless you're fighting off three vampires that were huddled together. As with all MCU films, it does help to have seen a few others before diving into Ragnarok, but the film is a fairly well-contained story that outside context only enhances rather than being a necessity. Directed by Taika Waititi, Ragnarok sees the God of Thunder learning some new and uncomfortable hidden truths about Asgardian history and his father Odin. A conflict with a new and powerful enemy sends Thor to the secret world of Sakaar, ruled over by the Grandmaster and home to his ruthless gladiator games. Along with old friends and new alliances, Thor must survive and find a way to flee Sakaar to save his homeland from the threat of Ragnarok, the prophecy that foretells the destruction of the entire Asgardian race. Thor Ragnarok will be leaving Netflix on December 4th. With a box office take of $1.3 billion, there aren't many sci-fi fans left who haven't seen Star Wars The Last Jedi at least once. If you somehow missed it, this is probably the last opportunity to stream it on a third-party platform before it re-emerges on Disney Plus forevermore. Writer-director Ryan Johnson makes a concerted effort to both enrich Star Wars lore and to play with expectations, giving fresh perspectives of what we know about the Jedi and the universe in which Star Wars exists. The Force is not a power you have. It's not about lifting rocks. It's the energy between all things. The Last Jedi immediately picks up where the Force Awakens left off, with Rey beginning a proper education in the use of the Force. In doing so, she'll discover many truths about the Jedi, Luke Skywalker, and his relationship with Kylo Ren. Meanwhile, division begins to roil within the Resistance, and the First Order is on the hunt, hoping to destroy the Resistance's high command at last. As Rey begins to realize that nothing is what it seems, how will she go forward, both for her own sake and that of the Resistance? Star Wars The Last Jedi leaves Netflix on December 25th. Seeing the 1982 feature The Dark Crystal before it leaves Netflix is of particular importance if you have watched or want to get around to watching Netflix's revival series The Dark Crystal Age of Resistance. The modern series is set well before the events of the film and chronicles the downfall of the world and near extinction of the species known as the Gelfling. The movie may be going away, but not necessarily forever. Jim Henson's Muppet works and characters are owned by Disney, but The Dark Crystal film and its characters are owned entirely by the Jim Henson Company, which is still an independent studio. The license will likely be re-upped at some point in the future, especially if a second season of the Revival series is greenlit. As for the film, The Dark Crystal, directed by Jim Henson and Frank Oz, is a high fantasy story about the planet Thra, a world on the edge of total destruction. A thousand years before, the evil vulture-like Skeksis shattered a magic crystal in order to use it for themselves as a source of eternal life. Thra's last living Gelflings, Jen and Kira, undertake a quest to find the missing shard and heal the crystal, in hopes of destroying the Skeksis and returning Thra to its former thriving and lush green state. The Dark Crystal departs Netflix on December 31st. Schindler's List likely needs no introduction. The 1993 historical drama appeared on Leonard Maltin's list of the 100 most important films of the 20th century and won a small avalanche of awards, including six Oscars. Directed by Steven Spielberg, the film is an adaptation of the historical fiction novel Schindler's Ark. While it depicts actual events and the central characters did exist, some of the narrative lacks firm historical record and has been filled in with supposition. The film tells the story of Oskar Schindler, a factory owner who saved over a thousand Jewish people from death at the hands of the Nazi regime by trafficking them through his business. Schindler begins as a faithful Nazi party member enjoying status among the SS, employing Jews recruited from the ghetto for cheap labor. When the ghetto is purged, however, the violence is so extreme that Schindler's allegiance is forever altered. Afterwards, he begins working with his Jewish business partner in secret to secure the safety of as many Jews as possible. Schindler's List will leave Netflix on December 31st. Wet Hot American Summer, released in 2001 to underwhelming reviews and a brutal box office, has developed a reputation as a nostalgic cult classic in the years since. Part of that is due to a talented cast that's only gone on to huge success in the intervening years since the film's release. Among them are Christopher Maloney, David High Pierce, Janine Garofalo, Paul Rudd, Amy Poehler, and many more. 
The film focuses on the last days of summer camp at the fictional Camp Firewood in 1981, where the various kids and camp counselors fall in love, get into hijinks, and plan talent shows. Sounds like pretty well-worn territory. The whole thing feels kind of trite. I say we forget it. Is that how everybody feels? Yeah. yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. Well, they also try to save the camp from being crushed by a piece of NASA Skylab that happens to be plummeting through Earth's atmosphere. Wet Hot American Summer will also be departing from Netflix on December 31st. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite movies and TV shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.